Hello and welcome to the episode 365 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. For this final episode, we'll touch upon the end of the last Hamburg residency of the Beatles, George Harrison not dressing up properly, and the lawsuit. On the 31st of December 1960, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums and Charles Newby on bass, played the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool. This was the fourth and last time that Charles Newby performed with the band. With the new year, Newby returned to his studies and the Beatles found themselves without a bass player once again. Two years down the line, in 1962, the Beatles had acquired their definitive lineup, with George Harrison and John Lennon on voice and guitar, Paul McCartney on voice and bass, and Ringo Starr on voice and drums. In the evening, the band performed their last three-hour show at the Star Club in Hamburg, West Germany. It was the end of their fifth and last residency in the German town. However much the Beatles liked Hamburg, and however much Hamburg had contributed to their growth, with 800 hours of performances that had shaped the Beatles' act throughout the years, they were now ready to move on to other, greater things. In 1963, the sixth night of the Beatles' Christmas show was featured at the Astoria Cinema in London, another two houses of good old variety performances mixing music and comedy. On the 31st of December 1964, instead, the Beatles were featured in the Another Beatles Christmas Show production at the Odeon Cinema in Hammersmith, London. After the second show, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and their loved ones, Jay Nasher and Patty Boyd, attended a New Year party at the EMI producer Normal Newell's London flat, before stopping by at another EMI party, hosted by Sir Joseph Lockwood, the chairman of the label. Two years down the line, in 1966, George Harrison, Patty Boyd, now Harrison, Beatles manager Brian Epstein, Eric Clapton, and more friends attempted to attend a party at a London club called Annabelle, which, at the time, was the talk of the town. On this particular occasion, though, George was denied access to the facilities because the member-only club objected to his wearing a jumper and a scarf instead of a more proper jacket and tie. The doorman tried to offer a suitable collar and tie, but George preferred to give it a pass and drive the party at a less fashionable location, the J. Lyons & Company restaurant in Coventry Street. In a way, it is fitting to close the last episode of What A Fab Day with a definitive, symbolic ending of the Beatles' history. Since the announcement of their breakup, see episode 100, George Harrison, John Lennon, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr had completed a number of more or less successful solo projects and had met to discuss business concerning Apple. On the 31st of December 1970, though, Paul McCartney decided to file a lawsuit in the London's High Court to officially dissolve the Beatles. Paul's aim, once again, was to get free from Alan Klein's management, or, as it later became apparent, mismanagement, of all things Beatles, but naturally, since he couldn't sue Klein directly, his only legal option was to sue his former bandmates. It was a PR nightmare and it put the final nail in the Beatles' coffin for a long, long time, but through this, Paul could finally formally accuse Klein to misappropriate Apple's and Beatles' money. Well, I guess this is it. The end of this podcast series. It's been an incredible ride for this gigantic project, which was also my first podcast, and I hope you liked it as much as I did. I want to thank you all for your attention, for the comments, the messages, and the passion we share throughout these months. 
for the final time, I will remind you that you can get the deluxe extended version of this podcast as a series of exclusive NFTs. To find out more about that and about all the ways you can support the creation of more and better music-related content for you to enjoy, please visit www.simonmas.com support. See you soon for more musical adventures. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.